Hey guys, so today I wanted to kind of start off my YouTube channel by talking about the AMDA audition. In case you guys do not already know, I am going to AMDA College and Conservatory of the Performing Arts and I am doing the BFA in Dance Theater. So everything in this video is going to be mostly based on Dance Theater, but also I feel like it could help if you are doing any of the other BFAs or conservatory programs. So I did the on the road tour audition. So they came over to my hometown, San Antonio, and they did the auditions here. I forgot what time I had to wake up. I'm pretty sure it was like crazy, but early in the morning. They chose a hotel in downtown. I got up there and there was basically your check-in. So I checked in and I just filled out a bunch of paperwork. They gave me things to fill out and I went into this one room. And this one room had multiple tables. They had a projector showing all of the productions that they've had at AMDA, things like Legally Blonde, some dancing, some Broadway, and obviously some of your acting. Also some film projects that they've done, which I thought was really cool. And um, we walk in, there's a bunch of tables. There's also a table to the side that's with way more papers with a lot more information in case you really just wanna know almost everything financially, alum-wise, all the jobs you can do in your profession, and all types of stuff. They have things like orange juice, water, so if, in case you're worried that you won't get your food in, they do have breakfast provided, but I would definitely check in your audition emails or anything like that just to make sure that they are providing breakfast. Moving on, the director of admissions from LA came in. His name is Joseph Serrano. So we were going to be put into three groups. It's musical theater, acting, and dance. I think that's what it is. I don't remember. You can fact check me in the comments or anything, but I think it was that way. Dancers had time to warm up to get ready for their audition while the rest went over to the pianist and they had time to kind of just go over their song with them so they can be prepared for the audition. That's pretty much all I heard from the other professions. If you want to hear more about it, just go ahead and look up AMDA, BFA, musical theater, performing arts, or acting. They'll totally tell you more. But in the dancer's perspective, here we go. We actually did not have a dancing room to warm up in. The hotel was just so small. We warmed up in the little hallway with all the chairs and I was just going over my solo, stretching. We get pulled over to the actual dance audition room and this room is tiny. Like it is very small. I was expecting kind of convention center stage size. Wasn't expecting anything too crazy, but I was definitely expecting that sort of size or maybe the convention dance floor. In case you've ever gone to a convention, like that's what I was thinking. And this was a literal square. So when we walked in, we had another person. I forgot his name, but I believe he was a part of the dancing BFA and he's a teacher there. And he gave us a full rundown of how everything's going to go. Um, we were going to do our solo, have an interview, do the ballet combo that he taught us, some extra technique that he wanted to see, and that was pretty much it from what I remember. So then it comes to my turn to walk in and do my audition. So I do my solo, and after my solo, obviously, I'm completely out of breath, and he starts doing the interview. Now, keep in mind, this entire audition, they are recording you, and I believe it's because they want to watch the video back to make sure that they are choosing the right person for the college. He gives me a bunch of interview questions right after, so obviously, I'm out of breath trying to talk to him, and he's keeping a big smile on his face, and it did reassure me, like, okay, this is... I just need to keep calm. And then he asked me to do the ballet combo in silence. There's no music, you just have to do the ballet combo in silence. I did the right side perfectly fine. And keep in mind, I don't really do a lot of ballet anymore. And so some of the terminology was a little funky, but they helped me out by giving me examples of how they look so I could figure out what exactly I'm supposed to do. So I did the right side, it was perfectly fine. I did the left side, realized I stepped on the wrong foot, but I just kept going. I think he didn't notice, which was a good thing and I just kept going. After that, he asked me to do pirouettes on both my right and my left. They were not good, I'm telling you now. My right was a double, my left was a single. Then he also asked me to do ballet turns, which was even worse, because I'm not good at ballet turns. But I just kept my cool, and you know, I was like, you know what, this is gonna be fine. And then he was like, I want you to do like a jazzy kickball change, turn around, and then do your pirouette. And each, either side, I just want to see if you have fun. I did like a little kickball change, turn around, I hit a triple on my right, so thank you, Jesus. I really appreciate that. 
I finished my audition, I walked up to the check-in, and Joseph Serrano, the director of missions, was my interviewer. Honestly, I wasn't scared of him, I wasn't intimidated. He was actually a very friendly guy, like I felt very comfortable talking to him. One thing that I really enjoyed about the auditions is that it didn't feel so intimidating. They wanted to make sure and try and make it more comfortable since they know a lot of us have never done an audition like this. Luckily, I've had some sort of way of this by doing studio auditions and things like that, but obviously college is completely different. In the interview, you know, he asked me questions, smile on his face, talked back, you know, we had a good conversation. Now we're going to get into kind of a summary of what kind of questions he asked me. I don't really remember much because it was so long ago, but I'll try my best to regain my memory. The questions that he was asking was, why do you want to go to Am what other colleges are you planning on going to and why? It was basically just trying to see why you want to go to AMDA, why you think it would be a perfect place for you. What other colleges are you looking into and why do you want to go there? But in reality for me, I wanted to go to AMDA. I mean, I have other colleges in mind, but I haven't really done any work to go there because I really want to go to this school. I think it's absolutely amazing, which is still true to this day. I'm very excited to go. He also asked, how my experience of dance has been, you know, all of my um, accomplishments in dance, and obviously I talked about my dance team. Six time national champs, four time tap stage champions. It's always so much fun talking about that when I was auditioning, you know, it's something that I'm very proud of and I'm very happy that I'm always a part of. You talk about a lot of your accomplishments, they ask why is dance your passion? Because they're really looking for somebody that really has the passion and is not just doing it, you know, for the fame, for the money, for publicity, for that social standard, you know. They're just looking for genuine people that love dance, acting, performing. They want to find people that are actually going to be very serious about the profession. And then, funny thing enough, like when you are filling out that one paper in the beginning, you're filling out extra hobbies that you have. And in the interview, they're using the exact same paper. I put things like, I like to sing, I like to play guitar, I play piano. And he would ask me questions about, oh, how long have you played piano? How long have you played guitar? Do you like doing the guitar? Like, what made you start? I talked about my dad, because my dad as a musician. The next thing that he asked me that I just remember very well was what are some words that describe you? And I was like, I mean, I'm funny. I'm really caring. I'm very kind. I'm generous. He actually in included a word for me and said I was bubbly and I laughed and I was like, yeah, no, you can put that down. I'm pretty bubbly. So I think I made a really good impression especially on him for the fact that he would go ahead and tell me something that I have a trait of. That's pretty much all I can remember from the interview. I just would say to keep an open mind with those interviews. They are a big part of their decisions because they don't want somebody that's snobby or just doesn't look like they're having a good time. And with the audition when you're actually doing the solo, um, a best tip I can give you is to really just perform. They want a performer. They don't want a dancer that can do 20 million turns. They want to actual performer. After that, my audition was basically done. I just hung out more in the waiting room and I even talked to Joseph Serrano a little bit more and my mom was even becoming like besties with him because she asked so many questions because she wants to know everything that's going on. They definitely made a connection there. So my mom, I feel like my mom had some part into them choosing me to be their student. But that's pretty much my audition. I finished and it took me about two days to get a word back. I don't know if it's because they were very responsive. It was supposed to take two weeks to get my decision, but I think it's also because I did a VIP admission that they offered me on an email because I was subscribed to their emails for a good while. They sent me like a, hey, we have a VIP admission that you can go ahead and sign up in. It's very limited, so we recommend doing it now. It's basically giving you a forefront before anyone else for them to review your application and get everything done. Just to end this up, some quick tips. Definitely be a performer. They want somebody that can actually put a movement into them. Just smile, have a good time. Don't be nervous. I was really calm. I really enjoyed this audition just because it was so comfortable for me me to talk and to just dance and um, it was very comfortable so don't be nervous I was dying after I left I cried in the car because I thought I wouldn't make it and I just messed up so much have fun 
be yourself i think that's pretty much it with the video if you guys want more things about amda maybe you just got accepted and you want to learn a little bit more on when you get more things more info about housing i'm definitely making videos coming up so i would love if you guys could hit a like on this video comment down below any videos that you want me to do in the future make sure to click subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get those videos that you asked for right when they come up and yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys Thanks.